All right, I don't know if I need to do an intro for this video or is it pretty self-explanatory what needs to happen today? My room looks a absolute ferocious. I don't really know. <sighs> I don't know what happened. I don't know how we got here. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna fix that today. We're going to do a quick little spring cleaning. I'm gonna try to explain why my room looks like this, even though I really don't have a good reason. So over here I have my suitcase. This is everything that I brought because I'm at my mom's house right now. My nightstand has really a bunch of junk on it. I have this bag right here full of just old like PlayStation. Um, there's a shirt. They're just full of old like PlayStation games and stuff that we want to sell, but I don't really know who to sell it to. And then this was literally just in my trunk with a bunch of alumni stuff from school. That's a mattress pad that my mom bought for me to put on my bed that I just, I honestly, it's been on the floor since she bought it like a couple of months ago because I've just never felt like putting it on. But I'm gonna do that today. Over here is a duffel bag and a bunch of clothes. I mean, not clothes, what is this? Just a bunch of blankets. So I'm starting off this whole spring clean by just taking my blankets and my sheets off of my bed and throwing them in the washing machine. And hopefully by the time I'm done cleaning everything else, they will be ready for me to put back on the bed. I should not have to step over this much stuff. Now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do, or not just, I still have a lot of stuff to do, but now I'm gonna figure out what I need to do with these clothes. Some of the clothes that I brought, I planned on leaving here because I don't really wear them and they're just taking up space. So I'm gonna sort through these clothes and figure out what I'm gonna leave and what I'm gonna take and then put the stuff that I'm gonna take back in my suitcase. I really feel like I should also do a closet clean out. Like I said, I brought a lot of stuff back that I'm not wearing anymore. These shorts, I actually just bought these shorts at Target. I feel like it's hard to find like Levi's shorts just in store rent and they were only 35 bucks so I got these and I'm definitely keeping these this is a swimsuit that I just got from Target super cute well these are just the bottoms but here's the top and the back of it has this like little crisscross I tried to sort it so that one side has the stuff that I'm taking and the other side has the stuff that I'm leaving but um this shirt is from Pretty Little Thing. I bought it at the beginning of quarantine and I have never worn it because I haven't had a reason to wear it and I don't really know how to like style it. I'm thinking like with white bottoms it would be cute, but I just, I don't know. It's just been chilling in my closet, but I like it and I'm gonna keep it. Little Christmas pajama shirt that my mom got me. Cute, warm, comfy, don't really need it right now. These shorts, got these from Shein, high-waisted, and they have like big pockets on the side, keeping. Once I finished sorting through everything, I folded the stuff that I was going to take with me and put it back in my suitcase, and then I put everything else back into my drawers that I was gonna leave here. And this is just a bag of a whole bunch of braiding hair because I just got my hair done yesterday. Check me out. Mm. These are actually really cute. They're high-waisted like wedgie shorts from Levi's. I actually might take these with me now that I think about it. I'm really bad at this whole closet clean-out thing because I just want to keep everything. Knowing that I cannot fit this anymore. Maybe one day I will, you know? These I can throw away. When am I gonna need a pair of pink shorts? Never. Am I gonna wear it again? Maybe. Maybe not. Keeping it anyway. These are super cute distressed like Bermuda shorts. I still want them even though they don't freaking fit. Honestly, none of my clothes fit right now, but it's fine. So far I've thrown out three things. These used to be one of my favorite eras of shorts. I honestly ripped them really bad trying to pull them up one day. I do this with so many of my pants. Don't know why I kept them. I was gonna stop here, but I just decided to keep going through my clothes and figuring out what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna throw away. This jacket I got on one of my first dates with Jeremy at ComplexCon and they screen printed like these pictures of us on the back. These pictures are so old. Obviously not gonna throw it away.
over here I just keep these little souvenirs from places that I've been so well these two are candles that one of my friends gave me because her mom has a little whoa, 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 whoa. okay my friend's mom has a candle company so I just have these right here this is a little snow globe that I got the first time I went to Vegas this is from I forget what it's called but there's like horses and people that dress up and they have like knives and swords and fight it's in LA I don't know I'm gonna figure out what it's called but this is from Florida and this is from Yosemite and this is a little poly pocket if you know you know so my vanity is actually super DIY. I got it on Wayfair a couple years ago before their whole sex trafficking scandal. It actually came with nothing on it besides just the table and the mirror. So I got some Marvel contact paper and put that on there. I also got the handles from Home Depot and Gorilla glued those on. And then the lights around it are from Amazon. Okay, this is the progress we've made so far. Clean over here. The bed is getting worked on. This is cleaned off. I used to have my makeup brushes in these, but I took them with me, so that's empty now. So I had started going through all the stuff on my floor and then actually just ended up putting it on the bed, but that was fine because it was way easier to work with anyway. This box literally had like three items in it and I don't know why it took me so long to throw it away, but I threw that away and figured I would just set these games to the side for now and fold up the rest of my blankets just to get the bed cleared off. These blankets are from Costco and they're super soft and big and comfy. Best blankets freaking ever. This bag is just what I keep my ring light and my tripod and everything in. Um, I don't know why I just scratched my head like that. I'm just gonna leave right there for right now. <gasps> oh my goodness. I just noticed this new little bud because my plants have been turned towards the back this whole time so I didn't notice this, but look at it. This might not be exciting to people that don't really care about plants, but I'm excited about it. I can't remember what these were actually intended for, but I just used them as coasters. I'm pretty much done cleaning my room right now. I still need to make up the bed, but the sheets and the blankets and stuff are not done washing yet. And I also kind of want to vacuum, but I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get it, so. I ended up just putting this bag of PlayStation stuff underneath my vanity, because out of sight, out of mind, I don't know. It just, I don't have anything to do with it right now, so I put it right there. Over here, I just have some stuff I need to take out to the trash. And then here's a little pile of clothes and stuff that I'm gonna throw away. So now, we tackle this. It's really not that bad, but it needs some help. As I think I said earlier, I got my braids done yesterday, so I spent a lot of the morning time like washing my hair, blow drying it, detangling and all of that. So there's a lot of hair around the bathroom and on the floor and stuff. So I'm gonna start by trying to clean, not trying to, I'm gonna start by sweeping the hair off the floor and just go from there. But my washing machine is done. This is the most extra dramatic washing machine ever. Like, you're gonna know when your laundry is done and you better come get it right now because it's gonna keep singing. Thank you. It's part of your video. Part of the video. My mom just brought me a fresh cut pair in exchange for washing her sheets. That's not why she probably would have bought it from me anyway, but. See, you deserve a jersey. Hang it from the nose, please. All up in the rafters. This that happily ever after. No, wrong page, different chapter. She said, slow down, then went faster. Wait, I might be the realest one that got away. I just talked to God. I These containers are or should I say were my mother's idea. These hold Q-tips and these hold cotton balls. I just wish it was someone else's idea and not hers, but whatever. She says she the one, I bet she thinks she is. She don't have no trust, I don't know where you been. I need a break. 
Because my mom has black hardware in her house, I have to use this Windex with vinegar in it because the vinegar gets the little like, I don't know if you can really see it, but the vinegar is supposed to help get these like water stains off of the black. Knock these petals off my boy flower. I kind of need to get a different towel because this one is starting to leave like little pieces of cotton behind. I have all of my nail polish in here. I used to do my nails all the time when I was in high school. I was like nail polish queen. I put the um, vinegar like spray on there you can't see it that well but the stains are pretty much still there so I'm gonna spray it on there again and just leave it this time and let it like soak some more now I'm cleaning my toilet with this Clorox gel cleaner all in and around don't forget to clean the bottom and the back of your toilet the top of your toilet it all gets dirty and disgusting and then just splash a little pine saw in there just to make it smell good Okay, so I have a lot of little like water stains and like dust and stuff that kind of just settled into my shower. This is a towel that I use to clean the toilet, so I'm just gonna rinse it off. There's also a lot of like, not picking up on the camera that well, but there's a lot of water marks on this stuff. So I'm probably gonna take these off and clean that too. I'll just put these in the sink for a second. Probably, I don't know how sanitary this is. I'm gonna put them in my mom's shower. I actually don't think I've ever seen Comet in a cream form. It's usually like a little powder, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I don't know why it's coming out like that. It's terrible. Oh my God, what is this? What is happening? So I don't know if it was supposed to come out like that or not, but it worked fine. So I just let it sit for a little bit, came back to it and cleaned it all up, wiped it off, made it nice and clean and shiny. Then once I was finally done cleaning everything in the bathroom, I just put all the stuff back where it goes with my cleaning supplies back and yeah. Bathroom is done. The last thing I need to do is put the sheets and the blanket back on my bed. So I'm gonna do that, take the trash out, and then be freaking done for the day because I've been cleaning for the last three hours and I really thought that this was gonna be a quick thing and I don't know who told me that. I was planning on going back inside and putting my sheets on my bed, but then I just remembered that they're still in the dryer, so I'm just gonna take a break. Two hours later. I almost didn't film this video because I was like, well, I don't really have that much to do. Like, it won't take me that long. These feathers come out sometimes and will like poke you in the face, which is very unpleasant. I'm finally done cleaning what I thought would have taken me like an hour, probably took me the entire day, but it's fine. I have a clean space now and um, there's still more cleaning I could have done. Like I could have vacuumed in here and mopped in the bathroom, but I really did not feel like it. Um, and this is clean enough for me today. It's way better than it looked when we first got started. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, as always, give it a huge thumbs up. 
comment. I don't even know what you should comment. I don't know. Comment happy spring cleaning. I don't even know. Comment whatever. Subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. If you don't put purple pipes on your toilet, do it because it smells so good in here and ah, it's just like the cherry on top of a cleaning day.